This is HKB. I'm Shaz and this is Leon. And we're here with our second episode of Naughty in November. We've got more fun today. we got some crazy Japanese ladies doing crazy things involving leashes and pain. We hope you enjoy this one. It's a little strange, but a lot of fun. Pacing a vibrantly coloured art studio celebrity novelist, artist and enfant terrible, Kyoko terrorises everyone around her, especially her eager to please assistant Noriko whom she sadistically and quite literally keeps on a leash. Just as Kyoko's cruelty reaches its peak, however, the film takes an unexpected about face that, in true Sono style, breaks down cinematic barriers in order to tackle the subjects of art, misogyny and freedom with boundless energy and unbridled passion. So for today's episode of Naughty in November, courtesy of your good friends at HKB, we're going to look at the 2016 film from Sion Sono, Anti-Porno, which is actually the fourth film in a reboot of the Roman porno franchise from Nikatsu. So Shaz, this is sleaze, but this is art house sleaze. Indeed. Very sort of strange, not quite sure what was going on sleaze. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little bit crazy. This is a first time watch for us and it's hard to get to grips with what's actually going on, but it's such a visual treat. It's very sumptuous with its colours. What's going on on the screen visually is absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. I think the director is poking fun at his audience a little bit, purposely disorientated them, not letting you get a grip with what's actually happening, making you make your own assumptions. As for the erotica of this film, there is quite a lot of nudity and sex scenes. The lead actress, Amy Tomite, she was um, an extremely attractive actress and definitely not shy of stripping off her clothes as she was many, many scenes, many, many times. And also her assistant, or was she her assistant, Mariko Tutsu, she too was quite quick to um, strip down as were some other members of the cast. So, you know, the Japanese ladies in this, they're very stunning and they're very bold. They're very brave in their roles, actually. And yeah, I kind of admire that a little bit, but also, wow, you know, what are they doing? Where are they going with this one? What do you think, Shaz? Did this have anything for you in it as, as a woman? Or, you know, I think some scenes, like where she was talking with the parents amused you a bit. Yeah, there was a funny scene, a funny conversation with parents that was a bit in your face the sort of language being used but it was quite amusing yeah that scene was quite refreshing compared to some of the other scenes in the film it but that's was... that's the only scene that i i understood <laughs> <laughs> Yes, there's, you know, quite a bit of subversion in it, especially when you think it's one thing, then you think it's another thing, then it takes you back to something else. I did find some of the scenes by themselves quite erotic, like, you know, where she has her on a leash and she's saying, lick my leg, you know, that that is a little bit naughty and therefore fulfills our naughty in November quota. And uh, I'd be hesitant as to who I um, recommend this one to, but, you know, again, this release is a third Windows film Blu-ray that we have and there's some good extras on there. We actually have an interview with the actress, Amy Tomite. There's a making of, which has Sion Sono in it and there's an audio commentary too and it, it looks beautiful the picture quality is fantastic on this disc it's a great third windows release and Sion Sono is definitely an interesting filmmaker whatever else you may say he does conjure up something that strikes images in your head and plays with you and it's not going to be something you're going to forget easily 
No, we're not going to be forgetting this one for a while, are we? Definitely not. So that will do for today's episode of Naughty November. Just before we go, Shaz, on the hot scale, where are you going to place this one? Maybe a torch. Yeah, so I think we're probably deducting a few points because of slight confusion and it being a bit more art house. It's definitely a fun one. Go and watch it, folks, and get back to us and let us know what you think. And if you've seen it and you've seen it more than us and you've got a better grip with it, please let us know in the comments below. We hope you've enjoyed our review of Anti Porno. I certainly had a lot of fun, Shaz. This was very colourful. And very strange. <laughs> Indeed. We hope you guys return again for the next episode of Naughty in November. If you are enjoying these episodes, be sure to hit that like button because that helps us out a great deal. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And for those of you that don't know, we also have a HKB podcast, so please sign up to that if you like to listen to us on the go. That's all for today, and we hope to see you tomorrow. And don't forget, put on your sexy robes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.